life path number two. So this video is all about life path number two. It's filling you in on some information on the two energy. So life path number two, you all are considered to be the born diplomats. Your energy is about duality, about that yin and about that yang, about making that balance and meeting that place in the middle. So one of the things that you possess naturally is compassion, love, kindness, cooperation, intuitiveness, partnership, mediation, and the ability to negotiate. When it comes to a life path number two, you all are people that naturally do well in relationships, in group settings, when it comes to connecting and networking and socializing, that is something that you are good at. It's something that you do best in. Those are the areas and the atmospheres that you are able to thrive. You thrive off of being able to connect. You know, that's just your natural ability. So one of the things that you are here to do and your purpose here on earth is to be able to build those environments where you are making the peace, creating that foundation of love. You know, you being in the center of, of a group is just adding that extra boost, so to speak. You know, just your presence because you are the natural compassion. You are possessing that natural energy of diplomacy. So you are able to, you know, just add that, that sense of understanding and balance to any situation. You know, whether you are aware of it or not, you know, just you simply being there can balance things out. And I also feel like you are here to be that team player for others. You know, everybody that is a leader has somebody that they can depend on, has somebody that can turn to. And oftentimes the person that's in the background, the person that's, you know, on the side or that that person is, is, is you know, getting assistance from or help from is the one that's doing the most work. They're the one that's, you know, putting the groundwork and they're the ones that's really keeping that person accountable. So your part of your mission is being able to be that listener, being able to be that support system and that great team member and team player that you are. You know, I feel like sometimes that team energy or that uh, diplomatic two energy, it can be downplayed because it does resonate more with the yin side, being receptive, being nurturing, being um, loving and, and like I said, di diplomatic. So, you know, naturally with the, the world and the modern society and the, on the Western, anyway, you know, the, the yin energy is, is kind of been suppressed for a while. But when it comes to the two energy, I would say that it's, it's just so much necessary. You know, being able to give that nurturing, being able to give that love and that support is so important because it's what keeps people going. You know, without that nurturing, without nurturing the seed and watering it and, you know, making sure it gets the sunlight, taking care of it, you know, doing all of the, the, the work that's necessary, you know, that seed is not gonna grow. So I feel like that's a part of your mission as a life path number two is, is to be the nurturer, that, that caretaker, that, that natural uh, diplomatic energy that you possess. Now, some of the lessons that you are here to learn or develop, I would say, is releasing the need for approval. A part of 
a life path number two is you know you can become so much of a nurturer or a caretaker that you begin to sacrifice yourself and become a martyr so to speak so being able to hold that position of support and of love is amazing but also being able to remember who you are you know so i think that it's good to be able to have your own life and and release any codependency that's a part of your lesson um another lesson that i would say is important for life path number two is just staying true to yourself so that you don't become resentful in the process of being that supporter of being that you know um that team player in you know the role that you play you know being true to you and your own beliefs and your own ideas you know it's so um good to be able to back somebody else up but it's also good to be able to know who you are and what it is that you stand by and what your ideas are because those things are so important as well you know so being able to speak up and voice your opinion being able to um you know just just stay true to those things you know not compromise yourself to the point where you lose yourself because that is something that a life path number two can do is be so giving to its own detriment to the point where you're like damn like i don't even know who i am you know i've been so much of a supporter i've been so much of a nurturer you know i've had this person's back you know and you know who am i so it's all about balance once again and just knowing who you are within and knowing that your role as a supporter as a, a team player you know as um the nurturer is just as important as being a leader is just as important as the front line you know it's, it's no it's no uh better role they're all equal and your part is actually more powerful because you're the one that's keeping everything together you're the one that's putting the icing on the cake and, and sealing it if that makes sense so with that said that is my thoughts on life path number two i hope that this video was helpful or you found this information useful if it resonated be sure to hit that thumbs up button drop a comment and let me know your thoughts I appreciate you all tuning in and I will catch you in the next one.